I gotta say, I've been mowing a lot more with that flap up. And I've been mowing a lot at four and a half inches in the front with that flap up and it's been working out really well. So if you didn't see the previous video, all I do is I drill the hole right here, put the bungee going across and connecting it to that lift arm right there. And it just holds the flap up for me when I want it up. And since the grass is growing so fast and I'm mowing so frequently, I just keep that up and it keeps it from clumping and mows real nice. All right, today I'm gonna get into changing out the blades on the Arian XD. Uh, currently I'm at about 11, plus hours right now. Um, and I haven't switched the blades or sharpened them at all. So I ordered another set of blades so that I can have a rotating set. Um, so let's go ahead and get the blades off and put the new ones on. Let's get into it. So what I went ahead and did is I ordered another set of blades online. And one thing I noticed off the bat is kind of how the blades angle at the tips. So you can see right there the angle and then even on this one you can see how it kind of slopes at a taper down here towards the end so that'll be important when i sharpen the old ones to make sure i keep that little taper going and if you take a look at the manual it does have a recommendation for how big of a taper you should have or not have So just like that, I have them up on the jack stands. So here's how I'm looking underneath the deck right now. It's not too bad. Got some grass obviously to scrape off here. But overall, not too shabby. So time to remove these as quick as I can. Here's the only tool I'm gonna use to do this job. I'm gonna use a breaker bar with a 24 millimeter socket on the end. I have other tools I could do it with, like a pneumatic impact wrench, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with just this. All right, so what I've done here is propped a board to hold the blade in place. When I pull on the breaker bar, and there we go. Blade one, and there's blade two. And blade number three. So one thing I never recommend, I don't recommend ever putting your head or anything up underneath anything that could fall on you, um, even though I have six ton jack stands. Um, if they do wobble off for some reason, this thing gets, you know, tipsy and falls over, it would kind of hurt. So, um, I don't feel like dying today, that's for sure. But I am gonna scrape all this extra grass out of here while I'm under here or have it up and then go from there. So, all right, so here are the old blades and you can see they're grassy. But I'll tell you what, that blade right there is still pretty darn sharp. I mean, I got some little nicks you can see right there. A couple little nicks right there, but other than that, that blade's not bad. All right, while I got this lifted, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape off this grass uh, that has accumulated underneath here. Huh? I'm getting the grass off the mower. There's the finished scraping. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take this deck off at some point and power wash it to get it real good. But that's not bad right there what I got going on. It's a good start. 
All right, so when point, putting your blades on, it's important to start with uh, hand tightening. If you end up doing this with a power tool and you go too quick, you could cross thread. So you just wanna get it on there well or until you have to actually tighten it. And then at that point, grab your So then I take my breaker bar and then I just tighten it. So that's on there. Well, I think it does have like a certain torque specification, uh, but that'll that'll be more than fine there. So moving on the middle. Uh, so same type of thing here. Just make sure you're putting your blade the correct direction with the right side facing up. I have made the mistake once of putting my blades on upside down and I will tell you that that mower did not like that very much when I mowed it upside down. So don't be suburbia dad and put your blade on backwards. Doesn't work. All right, so just like that, the blades are all on. I'm ready to mow. Um, definitely need to get that deck off and power wash it at some point, but that's for another video. If you like what I'm up to, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like button. Other than that, Suburbia Dad is out. Uh -oh.